Well, hello, everyone. I'm your host, Darren Jaime, and today is Wednesday, August 15th, and you're watching Open, a live program bringing the Bronx and New York City straight to your TV set. We want to also encourage you to welcome our viewers that are watching from Manhattan on Manhattan's Neighborhood Network as Open is now being broadcast live simultaneously on the MNN channel. And also, we encourage you to stay connected to us. How you can do that? Well, you can find out more about us on Twitter at BronxNetTV and Facebook at Open BronxNet Television. Well, a lot has certainly been going on through the past week. We take you now to some Bronx updates. Nearly a year after Hurricane Maria wrecked the island's landscape, Puerto Rico is still a long way from recovery. With that in mind, some Lehman College students ditched a summer vacation at the beach and instead traveled to help and rebuild damaged communities in Puerto Rico. Since mid-June, students from both CUNY and SUNY schools have traveled to the island through not-for-profit donations and also organizations. Now, in fact, up to 500 students are expected to help out in deployment rotations over the next four weeks. Now, once in Puerto Rico, students work alongside skilled professionals performing construction and building tasks while receiving a stipend and college credit for their services. New York has concentrated its Puerto Rican work through the Empire State Relief and Recovery effort, which has distributed more than 4,400 pallets of supplies for more than a dozen donation sites across the state this according to the program's website. Now, New York State Governor Andrew Cuomo has also pushed for a $94.4 billion federal aid package to Puerto Rico, which suffered billions of dollars from damages from the Category 4 storm last September. And although the students brought hope, tragedy still persists on the island. Well, in an urban area such as the Bronx, farms are few and far between. But thanks to the Riverdale Y Sunday Market, that's all changing. Every Sunday through November the 18th, the Y organizes a farmer's market at Riverdale Kingsbridge Academy, hosting more than 17 local food and craft vendors. Now, the food is locally grown and produced and includes a wide selection of various fares, such as quiche, organic breads, kosher cheeses, and, of course, a fresh variety of produce. Now, the market started nearly seven years ago when a group of residents decided they wanted to do something a little bit more fresh and a little bit more local. So what did they do? They partnered not only with the Riverdale Y, but Jessica Holler, who serves on the Riverdale Nature Pres uh, Pres uh, Preservancy Board, I should say, and Beth Farms of the Farms Kitchen and Artisan Jam Company. And this Sunday, the market that's not unique only brings vendors who sell food but also vendors who sell crafts, and so you can check them out. Now, over the past few years, the Sunday market has opened many people and has expressed happiness in having a community place to hang out, bring families, as well as meet new people, all while enjoying fresh food as the number of vendors increase every year, along with the selection of farm fresh produce and craft vendors. Now, the Sunday market is growing into a community staple. You're invited to check out the Sunday market. Well, Bronxites will enjoy a great deal of summertime fun. This at the Friends of Community Board 11 Carnival on Sunday, August the 20th at Bronx Park East Trojan Field. The annual carnival being held from Tuesday, August 15th through August the 28th. Well, it features carnival games, mechanical rides, delicious food, and some weekend matinees. Now, for more information, you can contact Community Board 11. That number is 718-892-6262. Once again, that number is 718 892-6262. Get the fun in while the summer is still here. Well, that's all the time we have for Bronx Updates. We'll be back more after this.